Paul tells us this last story, and I'll finish with this, and we'll close in a song of worship. He says, I'm weak. And then he says, by the way, I had to be lowered in a basket because the governor was trying to give. It's not a manly position, however you look at this. It wasn't a big manly basket. It wasn't like, you know, he was being hoisted down or some kind of a cool thing, you know, window washing type deal. This was a dude having to run for his life in a little basket. Super embarrassing. Let me put it like this. This is the story you don't tell people. It doesn't make you look good. In fact, let me take this a little bit further. Paul was so ready to fight. One of Paul's biggest problems was that he was a fighter. In the book of Acts, when the high priest said, you know, some, something about him and, um, and said something negative about Paul, Paul shouted right back at him, you brood of vipers. And we're like, yeah. The problem is when Jesus heard the same thing, he said nothing. So Paul's not the example of how to talk back to people. It's kind of cool because it's in the Bible and we're like, cool, we can yell, we can call people a brood of vipers too. It's in the Bible, but no, it's not in the Bible like that. Paul was a hothead is what I'm trying to tell you. He wanted to fight, but the Lord said, no, I want you to get in a basket and look dumb. I want you to go get in a basket and look dumb and live. No, Lord, I'm ready to, I'm ready to suffer. I'm ready to take this world back for you. And the Lord's like, can you just get in a basket and humble yourself? No! Can you do what I'm asking you to do? Can you just do the small thing? Just get in the basket. And I want to end with that, friends. Sometimes we just got to get in baskets. Just got to take the humble approach. I'm ready to die for Jesus. My guess is he's not asking you to. He's asking you to live for him. And I hear us all talking, you know, I'm ready to be martyred for Jesus. You know, it's not happening right now. You're not going to be martyred for Jesus if you can't even live for him today, right? And that's not my guilt. That's my reality. It's just that I live for him today.